You know those really crummy. Oh, shoot. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video gets very heavy. I already filmed that beginning part, so if there's mascara running down my face, you know why. If there's something I've been working on, I'm so excited to share with you, but there's a lot of reasoning behind it. And and my mental health journey that kind of led me to the happy person you've seen me, especially lately. First time I start the vlog, nice and wholesome. So I love pumpkin spice latte, but we've done that. They have the new a apple crisp macchiato. You know what could really help you sort through these important issues? What? Orange mocha frappuccino! So let's go try it. Hi, post video Kelty checking in. I decided to start a new series on the channel. Get ready for the two food segments. We got the taco tequila taste test. You will see in next week's video, and for this week's video, the coffee and cake check. But I forgot to get cake. <laughs> oh, it smells like, not even an apple pie. Like warm apple pie. Yeah? You know those really crumbly granola bars? The Nature Valley? The apple one. It smells like that. I did get it with almond milk. But... Tastes like apple crumble, not apple pie. Like more granola, more oaty. 9.1 out of 10. I love holiday drinks. I just realized I'm doing a try on of the Whitney Simmons collection. I'm just, and this is bringing me a lot of joy right now because it's so comfortable. Obviously, Whitney is such a component on mental health. So here's just like a little sneak peek. <laughs> Caffeine in my system, time to work out. I'm doing an ab challenge, so 30 day ab challenge to peak, but I've actually been on my group fitness class grind again, and it's been the best thing possible for my mental health, pretty much because it forces me to start my day. I'm fully vaccinated, group classes are open again, so I just have like an 8 a.m. class book morning, and it's just giving me some structure, and I'm new to the city, so I don't actually know a lot of people. I just have a couple friends, and it's just been nice, I feel, I'm starting to meet people in Vancouver. It's been house concepts, which is like a boot camp, yoga. I have my gym and I come and do like my core mobility handstand training. I've refilmed this component so many times because it's complicated, it's dirty. I like to spread positivity and, but there's something really important to me. I've you guys have known there's the two things on my channel, the vlogs and the challenges, but I've hinted at a third thing that I want to bring you guys, and it has brought me so much joy, and I hope it brings you guys so much joy, but I wouldn't be doing it justice if I didn't talk about the history of it and the importance, and also I've hinted at having a dark past, but I've never fully talked about it. And one day I hope to do a full video of my entire fitness journey. And that's why I haven't done it. And the reason being is it discusses some things that are incredibly triggering, I think. And also I'm not a professional, so I don't know how to say it without harming someone. And so I will try to do it as respectfully to my former self, to you watching. <sighs> and it's taken many years to just even process my history myself, uh, you know, speaking to therapists and just making sure I'm in a good place. Um, and I haven't been comfortable to share it and I feel really blessed. <laughs> Next week's video, I did a panel at Whitney Simmons um, event and I talked to a couple of girls beforehand and it opened up and everyone just created such a safe place, oh God, um, that I feel comfortable and I, I hope it helps someone listening. And so, I was a college athlete. My whole dream, my whole life was playing university basketball, which sounds funny because that is not a job, but definitely, and I was not going to be going pro, but that was just always my television. I wanted to go to med school. I cared about my grades, academics, and I had this picture perfect life on the outside. My home life wasn't, and I don't want to get too much into that because that's, this is why it's also hard to talk about. I don't want to expose other people's problems on the internet. It's hard enough to expose myself, but they didn't sign up for that, and so I want to respect them. But there was a lot of bad things, and when I was 19, I blew up my knee, and that ended my basketball career. And at the same time, I moved out without a penny to my name. It was more of an escape thing. 
and my parents got divorced, I had no money, and then I wasn't playing basketball. And I got in this really dark spiral, and my grades started slipping because my mental health wasn't in check, and I didn't know where, and I didn't want to go to med school at that point. I felt like a failure, and I was just in that rock bottom. I had no purpose, no career, no identity, and I lost, I, I just felt the world slipping away from me, and who I thought I was was gone, and. I think deep down I always knew I had this happy persona on the outside, but behind closed doors I'd go home and it was a lot of pain. And that was that year was the first year that it became obvious to other people and I felt like I was a fraud, that I wasn't this happy go lucky, that I had problems. This was before mental health was talked about, so I, I felt just shame and failure and So I got surgery for my knee and it was, and I got out of surgery, got home and went to my dorm apartment alone and it was just heavy. It, I felt very alone. I felt like I lost everything in that moment. You know, you're on part of a team, and this has nothing to do with these girls' faults. I just mean you're when you play team sport, you understand that you have this family that you would fight anyone for, and then suddenly you're not on. Even though they still care for you, when you're not really on the team because I was injured, I wasn't on the team, and my grades were gone, my family was gone. I had nothing, so I thought. And okay, I'm trying to. I sorry if there's cuts. There's just gas because I'm just trying to say it. Like I, I don't know if it's even just I don't even know if even saying this will get this video taken down. But I did something when I was alone in that apartment with full attention. <gasps> that I would never wake up. <laughs> and I, did. I don't want to go into detail about it, but I did it. And I somehow woke up the next day. <laughs> and to this day, I don't know how. And I think it was just... And then I also felt like a failure, so I was, well, you can't even do that right. And, but. It was a blessing looking back. <laughs> and if you're struggling right now, just know the world's a better place because you're in it. And I don't have an exact answer because it's not clear when you're in that mental house place. It's help, when you're just that low that you're willing to do that, it's not as simple as like, oh, just take time off or get a new job. It's like either is no right answer. You just have to do something. Just do something that sounds kind of cool. And luckily for me, I, it's so simple, but there was two things. I started, I just listened to Avicii on repeat in my car, just drive for hours, and that's all I wanted to do, was just drive and listen to Avicii on repeat. And then also, I, yeah, I started bartending with my, and that's where, you know, there, I just started bartending because I need to pay the bills. I ended up meeting my best friend of a decade there. Um, this is also why it's complicated. It's just, I have to open up to so many people that care about me and I I don't want them to feel bad and I don't want you guys to feel bad about me because I also want you to be like, I'm here today. And the only reason I think I'm a happy, bubbly person is because like I literally live, like I got a second chance at life. And so I think I just have a lust for life. And I've said that a hundred times. I'm like, oh my God, like life is so beautiful. Um, but I haven't always lived that way. It's taken a long time, but like back to what I was saying, um, the only thing that got me through was music. And then for many years, I was trying to, I was bouncing between degrees, schools, cities, provinces. And the only, as much as fitness became a part of my life, and that's definitely, it's just always been who I am. I don't know life without movement. And that's something that just resonates and it's my form of therapy and it's, I just love it. But music, 
music meant so much to me and EDM and like house music and you know it was a VG Calvin Harris a Skrillex I went to a Skrillex show when he was just small and I was just like what is this music it sounds like rob robots having sex and I was just so drawn to it it just felt like it was emotion without words and I just felt it in my soul and I went to all these raves they were called back then they weren't music festivals and I just even I go dead sober I just loved it and I remember being 21 and being like you're gonna do this you are going to become a DJ and thinking at 21 oh you're too old even though I have me I have a classical trained piano for eight years like I come from a musical family like I know music I just need to learn how to do it electronically and I tried to find I had no money I had absolutely no money and like I said I moved out at 18 without a penny to my name and I tried to figure out how I could learn to DJ and create music and not to blame I was with people in my life at the time that laughed at that and said that was ridiculous and so I just suppressed that for many of years and I've had a very fruitful life in those you know five years since that moment and I moved across the country and I started YouTube and that really became this beautiful creative outlet and so I kind of suppressed that for many of years and had you put a gun to <laughs> oh I can make some dark humor there but um if you'd said like anything like you said <laughs> the expression gun to your head what could you be like DJ like, that was the coolest thing on the face of the planet you could just um create this beautiful moment that people are there just to live life just bond there's no lyrics even it's just this very tribal-esque feel and it's just music is so powerful that's why music is so important in my videos and sorry if this is dragging on I'm trying to get to the point but you know I suppressed it for many years and I would every once in a while dabble into it and just listen and just became a consumer and then COVID happened and I think we all got to a really dark place and I feel really happy that I haven't had any of those suicidal thoughts I haven't self-harmed for so many years and so I uh about three months into COVID being locked down alone in Toronto I, I started to just feel this built up energy that needed release and I, I knew I didn't want to go down that road but I knew that was all I wanted to do but I didn't want to start doing that again but it was just this it's, I can't explain it just so much I'm an extrovert I'm high energy and it was just trapped in my apartment alone and my YouTube I wasn't making the YouTubes I wanted to be I wasn't traveling it was all that lust of life was just I have this energy and I just want to go and I'm trapped and I I don't want to get into it um there but the one thing that saved me I I literally just blared EDM music and, and danced and I was like hey this is all I needed and that fire that I knew 21 year old Kelty had kind of came back and November I had this moment just walking down alone at 11 p.m. downtown Vancouver I was like why not now if you just really devote yourself for six months how far can you get and then a year and then two years if you really devote yourself to something really tunnel vision no I didn't start this when I was 12 but you know what could happen like what's the worst that could happen and so I went home and I started playing around with music software and learning more and went to Sweden and <laughs> the um, Avicii and like I said there was also that poll that not to go back but Avicii saved me and I fully I, I've kind of hinted at that um that was the only joy I had was playing his music and just to know like he provided me so much light and no his light is gone it's just it it left me with a lot of just like i need to do something and i didn't know what that was but i think i just wanted that's what i love about my youtube is i just want to spread light i just want to make people's day i just want to provide joy i just want to create a group of people and we have i see it just like people have a lust for life and i think fitness is a really cool way and overcoming anything in your minds but to and challenging yourself and just doing those things you always wanted to do and I wasn't doing those things and so finally I went to Sweden blocked off a lot of distractions was like you are going to learn to do this and I started taking online lessons and I came to Vancouver and started taking in-person lessons and behind the scenes I devoted the last almost eight months and I've almost it's 10 months almost 10 months of my life to learning how to do this to create something for you guys so I was just going to 
drop it on the channel but it just felt like I, I just want to paint a little bit and one day I'll go more into my story that was like a decade just kind of summarize but that built up emotion that I just felt that the only thing I thought would cure it was self-harm I replaced with music and I, it has brought me more joy than I could ever imagine I can do it for like three hours alone in my apartment that's all I want to do and I want to most importantly created for you guys. I think the cool thing about fitness, I've talked so many times on my channel, is just we're all going in a direction, we're just moving our body so we can get the most out of life. And the one thing that connects every form of fitness, because I don't believe in demonizing weight training or yoga, or I think it's just all different seasons of your life, is music. I think it's so cool that someone could be on a weight loss journey, someone could be on a weight gain journey, someone can be working on cardio, someone could be weight training, someone could be stretching, they could all be listening to the same song and having the same emotions and be in a completely different place in life, and that is what I want to create. And that is what the third thing on this channel will be, is creating you guys something for not just creating music and it's also why I'm nervous because the class was like, oh, influencers start doing music. But I was like, this, I've played piano since I was eight. Like, this is me finally doing the thing I always wanted to do, but didn't think I could do it. And yet that's the premise of my channel and I wasn't doing it. And so here it is. I just wanted to express like how much this means to me and why I just want to pass on this light and how much light it gives me to you guys in your workouts. And I don't know if it'll be on this channel, or on my second channel, I will try and keep you guys updated, but I'm going to start re-releasing a workout stream. So it'll be, you know, 30 minutes, an hour of just perfect music for your workout. I'm talking the ebbs and flows. When your workout gets like that certain part of the workout, you're like, I want to give up. I just need something. You need that inspirational music. I promise they will have that and it will just perfectly match. And when you don't want to get to the gym, it will make you want to get to the gym. You can use this workout to have drinks with your friends after, but I'm just so excited and my heart has never been so happy. Nothing feels more me than when I'm creating it. So I just want to make this video to open up to you guys a bit. I will talk more about my full story when I feel I can because I think it's important because I used to hide it because I used to want to be like, oh, I, I don't want to be this like survivor and that be my identity. And it's not. And I'm now in a place I'm like, you know, I did survive that. It's not my identity, but created who I am. And I hope anyone who's suffering and considering this option, it gets so and oh my god this next project is gonna be so much fun i'm so excited oh, that was heavy okay Whew. just need to purge some emotions so i just want to thank you guys for being so supportive of me over you know the last few years when i opened up about my mental health and that's why i even feel comfortable sharing this very vulnerable part and it sounds cheesy producing music and house music and DJing, but it was something that just made me feel so alive. I decided most importantly to bring you guys, and I have a really beautiful vision. So I don't know if it'll be on this channel or a second channel, I'll just make sure to keep it posted. I'm really, really nervous because I know the criticism will come, but that's how you learn and that's how you get better. And I want to be fun and so I think we can create something really fun together that will just bond us. That's what I love about music. So thank you guys, and I have one request for you guys to actually request. So if you could comment down below your favorite workout song, because I want to start including some of those so you feel like you're a part of this process while I make these workout streams for you. So comment down your favorite fitness bucket list. We got the vlogs and now the streams and I feel those three things just are everything I've ever wanted to do in my life and we'll travel the world making music and trying different forms of workouts and doing those things we've always wanted to together. Thank you. If you made it this far in the video, leave a ghost emoji because it's spooky season and it's my favorite season of the year. So leave a ghost emoji also along with your song or just the ghost emoji if you found a song. I appreciate you so much. Be kind yourself, be kind to everyone. You don't know what problems they're facing and go for that thing you've always wanted to. But most importantly, have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys. Bye.